Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokcha DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to host a static website using S3 with a custom Route 53 domain in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the S3 service, then click on create bucket and give it a name. The name of the bucket needs to be the exact same as the name of your custom domain. So I'm going to pick testing.gokchadb.com. Let's leave the region to US East 1 and enable ACLs. Attention! Uncheck block all public access, then acknowledge the warning that says this will make all objects in this bucket public. I'm going to leave all the other settings to their default values, then click on create bucket. Let's go inside our bucket and upload the index.html file for our website. Keep your formation! In this file, I'm just printing hello world within h1 tags. Let's continue uploading this file by hitting the upload button. Next, navigate to the properties tab then scroll down to the static website hosting section. Click edit, enable static website hosting, then specify the name of your index document. In our case, this will be index.html. That's what I'm talking about. Hit save, then go back to the static website hosting section. This time, you should see a bucket website endpoint here. Click on it, to see if you can access your website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like we're getting the 403 forbidden error. To fix that, go to the objects tab, then click on the actions dropdown. Choose make public using ACL, then hit the make public button. Refresh your website endpoint, and this time you should see your hello world message. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, let's navigate to the Route 53 service, then click on Hosted Zones. Go inside your hosted zone, for me it's kokchadb.com, then click on Create Record. Choose Simple Routing, hit Next, then click on Define Simple Record. For record name, it needs to be the same as our S3 bucket, so in this case, it should be testing.gokchadb.com. Leave the record type to A or alias, and for endpoint, choose alias to S3 website endpoint. Company, halt! For region, I'm going to select US East 1, and now if you click inside the S3 endpoint text box, our S3 endpoint that we created earlier, should automatically pop up. Select it, then click on Define Simple Record. Hit Create Records, then click on View Status. Your change status should now say Pending. Give it a few minutes, and it should eventually change to In Sync. Let's open a new browser session to confirm that our custom domain is now routing to the correct S3 endpoint. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.